Welcome to the cold start lesson, cadet. Today we will practice starting up the Huey and getting her ready for flight. Press the spacebar key when you are ready to begin. Before we begin, press right control and C to close the cockpit doors. First, we need to provide electrical power to the aircraft. This can be done with the help of the ground crew, but we'll use onboard power. Take a look on the overhead console. On the AC power control panel, set the AC phase voltmeter selector switch to AC and the inverter switch labeled INVTR to OFF. Now on the DC power control panel, set the main generator switch to ON and the DC voltmeter selector switch to ESS bus, essential bus. Next, set the starter generator switch to start and turn on the battery. Don't worry, that's just the low RPM warning blaring, which is normal right now. Press the low RPM audio switch to acknowledge the warning. Let's also test the caution lights panel to make sure all of the lights are operative. Set and hold the test switch in the down position. Make sure all of the caution lights are on. Next, on the engine control panel, set the main fuel switch to on and the governor switch to auto. All other fuel switches should be off. On the miscellaneous control panel, set the hydraulic control switch to on, the force trim switch to on, and make sure the chip detector system is set to both. Before starting the engine, we need to make sure the throttle is set to idle. The throttle is located on the grip of the collective control handle next to the pilot's left leg. The throttle is twisted left using the page up key to increase it, and right using the page down key to decrease it. Press and hold the page down key for a few seconds to make sure the throttle twist grip on the collective control handle is set to the idle stop position. Also, make sure the stick and pedals are in the neutral position and the collective is fully lowered. You can check the position of the controls on the controls indicator by pressing right control and enter. To start the engine, you will need to press and hold the home key on the keyboard to pull the engine start trigger located beneath the switch box of the collective control handle. As the engine spools up, you will need to monitor the engine instruments and the clock. The engine start button needs to be held down until the gas producer speed reaches 40% or 40 seconds have passed on the clock, whichever comes first. You should also see the rotor begin to turn around 15% of gas producer RPM. If this does not happen, abort the start sequence. Whenever you're ready, begin the ignition sequence by pressing and holding the home key on the keyboard to pull the engine start trigger. Don't forget to note the time and watch the gas producer indicator. The helicopter will toss you around quite a bit as the rotor spins up. Let me know if you need to use the bag. Set up the avionics. Back on the overhead console, turn on the inverter by setting it to main on. We'll now power up the radio systems. Set the AM APX 72 transponder to standby, STUI, by right clicking once over the master switch. Turn on the AM ARM 82 VHF NAV radio by 
right clicking on the power switch once. Turn on the AM ARC 134 VHF com radio by right clicking on the power switch once. Turn on the AM ARC 51 VX UHF radio by setting the function switch to T on the transmit receiver. Set the intercom selector switch to 3 to set the VHF com radio for transmission. This will allow you to communicate with ATC. To communicate with women, you will usually transmit over the UHF radio, which is positioned 2 on this switch. Turn on the AM ARC 131 VHF FM radio by setting the mode switch to TR transmitters. Turn on the AM ARN 83 ADF receiver by setting the mode switch to ADF. Let's now run up the engine to the the power. Press the page up and repeatedly and monitor the engine and throw it the end indicator as power increases. Continue to slowly add power until the throttle grip and the collector is twisted all the way to the left. Watch the engine RPM to stabilize at 6600 and rotor RPM on 324. Well done.